Diane Best here in beautiful Joshua Tree, and I've known Diane for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I know Diane as a painter, and a photographer, and a filmmaker, and there is a thread throughout all of those mediums, and that is the landscape and nature. Yes, that's it. I know people get confused when they come in here at first because I paint, I draw, and um, I'm a photographer also. But to me, they're all connected because of my love of the desert, and they, they're all based on the desert and some kind of landscape. I'm kind of mostly known for my Joshua Tree paintings, and now I'm making t-shirts, and here's one right here. This is hot off the press, uh, it's brand new. Is this a painting or a drawing? I call these brush drawings, because to me, since they're works on paper, I can't go back over it. Once you put the paint down on a piece of paper, you can't take it back. So, so you don't draw this first? No, I, I, the brush is my, it's like my pencil. And I'm not trying to capture any one tree realistically in particular. I'm thinking of a lot of different trees and the way they move and I'm just trying to create motion and drama. And the trees are so much fun to me. They're, they have so much personality, each one's different. and. To me, they have a lot of movement, so I try and put that into these drawings. Because I always feel like they could get up and dance away at any time. Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them look like they're spinning or, you know, they're moving. Yeah. They look like characters in the Dr. Seuss book. Yeah. Which is not surprising considering I do come from a background in animation. These two were from a feature film. It was called The Trumpet of the Swan. And this was part of a dream sequence. This is actually an original background painting for a feature film. Um, I can't remember the name of the film, but I know there were mice in it. And you can see this was their interior with the cardboard and sardine can and a stamp as a painting and a paintbrush for the broom. So you've been working on these brush drawings slash paintings for over 20 years yes. and you started small on this paper from Nepal. Right. How did you move to and working gradually, large? I, I look at it almost like dancing or choreography. The, my process for doing this is I'll lay it down and I'll have a dry brush and I'll kind of lean over it and think, well, it's going to go about like that. I practice a little dry. Then I walk around the house a lot. I get the music really loud, just right. I drink a bunch of coffee, maybe eat chocolate, I don't know. <laughs> and then I come back and I just let it rip. This is generally a time when I work slow and also I do, it's about negative painting. This is the tricky part. See, I want this leaf to stand out so I'm not painting it, I'm painting around it. But you know, there's basically no wrong way to paint a Joshua tree. They ha they're so crazy and fun and you can just you can look at a picture and you can just pick up a paintbrush or a pencil and start drawing and see what happens. There's no wrong way. You don't have to be afraid. These are very similar to the first brush drawings I did of Joshua Trees like 20 years ago. Uh, I was looking at those trees and they're so complex to me. And the shape and all the little leaves and the color. So I thought, well, I'll just simplify it to start and I'll just do it in black and white and figure out the structure. So I started with this black, uh, it's acrylic paint, but very watered down. So it's almost like ink or watercolor. So I started it that way and I never have stopped. <laughs> it's 
20 years of painting these in black and white. It just, I, I just like it, you know? I, so I never went to the color. I don't think they need the color. So this one, there's more of a landscape coming through. And then this was after that, and there's even more coming through. So maybe I'm emerging out into the light. I want to uh, thank Diane for welcoming us into your space and um, talking to us about your art and sharing your insights. I really appreciate it. You are welcome. I'm happy to have you here. Anytime, come back. And, you know, it's painting. I, anybody can do this. You can just get a piece of paper and a brush and some black paint and have some fun.